There is a new AI tool in town and it is better than Mid Journey and Ideogram AI and I just can't wait to show you how to use it. Introducing Flux.1, a new era of creation. So this, this is the new AI tool. It's run by a company called Black Forest Labs and you can read all about them on their website. But what we're looking at is their new AI tool that allows us to generate images, beautiful images like the ones you can see here. And what I like about it is it gets the text pretty spot on. So we're going to be investigating that and looking to make a t-shirt at the end of this video just to show you how you can leverage the tools that are here on Flux. So when you scroll down, you will see there are three distinct variants or tiers of Flux. So you have the Chanel, which is the fastest model um, and tailored for local development and personal use. Then there's the middle of the range Flux Dev, which is an open weight guidance distilled model for non-commercial applications. The one that we're going to be going for is the best of Flux, which is the Flux Pro, offering state-of-the-art performance image generation with top-of-the-line prompt following visual quality, image detail, and output diversity. So the thing with Black Forest Labs or using this AI is that unlike Mid Journey and them, you can't go to a website where you can generate your images. Uh, they say you can try it on these platforms, replicate.com, file.ai, and mystic.ai. So I'm on these, you'd be paying to use Flux, but I'm going to be showing you a different way that you can access um, Flux for free, at least for the meantime, and just give it a go, give it a try, and that will be using Glyph Alpha. So before we go there, let's just scroll all the way down to the terms of service, because there's always that question of, can we use the images that we generate from there? And can we use those for commercial purposes? So when you come here to their, their terms of service under the services, they say, we claim no ownership rights in and to the outputs. And you may use the output for your own personal or commercial purposes, subject to any restrictions set fourth year in so they they'll go further into that but you can use the outputs for your personal or commercial purposes and they just state that you should be careful of any violations or intellectual property violations so that's what they say there for the terms and conditions now we'll go to the to glyph alpha where you can use this tool for free. So here we are in Glyph Alpha and what we're going to be doing is putting in our prompt. Okay, so there's our prompt. We'll run this Glyph and we'll wait and see what we get. So it, it actually shows you how long it will take for you to get your images. Let's see what we get. Well, there we go. So this one has fear not. It it left out the the other text that we wanted. So this is the other one I got, and it has it has some additional text there, and it didn't have the fear not. Yeah, it just it did its own thing. <laughs> To a Highland cow with text. I'll try the text that's trending. Be demure. See what we get. Another one that looks really good. 
So you got the words right. So once you find the one that you like, you can download it. For images generated using AI, if you want to use those images for print on demand, you have to increase the quality of the image by upscaling it or vectorizing it. So after you've done that, then you remove the background. So to upscale the image, I use DGB. Dot LOL. That's one of the websites I actually used in this example. And first of all, you'll need to use the AI retouch and wait for it to upscale. This actually takes quite a long time, about 40 or so minutes. So it's not really good for that, but it produces really good quality images. So you use AI retouch, wait for it to upscale, then use the AI image upscaler to double the size of the image just to make it so much better quality. And then you go on and remove the background. So I have Canva Pro and I was able to remove the background and save it as an SVG and use it on my t-shirt. So you will need to see what works best for you and for your situation. What we want to do first of all, we want to upload, we want to upload the image and remove its background. I've got Canva Pro, so I can remove the backgrounds using, using Canva Pro. So when we go to download them, we will download them as SVGs, which is the scalable vector graphic which is the best uh, quality graphic for web design and animations, which is what we need also for making t-shirts and we'll want with a transparent background. So we'll do that for our two images and we will download them. And once we have our vectorized images, we can now put these onto t-shirts and, and the method I'm going to be using for this is I'm going to be loading these designs into Printify, which is the print-on-demand provider that I use. If you don't know what print-on-demand is, print-on-demand is a business model where you generate the designs or you come up with the designs for t-shirts, sweatshirts, for a whole range of things. And then Printify will print and ship your product to your customer, which is pretty good. So we've downloaded our SVG files and we will now go into Printify and design our t-shirts. Here on Printify, if we come to their catalog, you can look here in Best Sellers and look at the different types of t-shirts that they have. The one I use is the Bella Canvas 3001. You can look and see the details about this t-shirt and the cost, what it would cost to have that t-shirt printed and shipped to your customer. You can look at the different types of providers in your area who would be available to make this t-shirt. So just for our purposes here we've already got our design and now we're just uploading it onto the t-shirt. The image and add it to our t-shirt. So there you have it. This is how I was able to use the new AI Flux to design a t-shirt and here are a few more examples of designs that I made and some of the prompts that I use. Hope these will be useful to you. I'll put a link up to a video where I looked at Ideogram AI uh, in the same way and designed a t-shirt using Ideogram AI and I hope you enjoyed the type of content I'm posting here. If you do, please leave me a like and I'd be really happy if you subscribe to my channel. I'm growing and I'm learning and come with me on my journey. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.